Most folks, they see a map of Africa, they see the headlines, and they think they know. They think it's all dusty plains and conflict. They think they've got it figured out, but they don't know the first damn thing. See, South Sudan, this ain't your usual tourist trap. This is raw, this is real. This is the kind of place that gets under your skin, stays with you long after you've left. This is about the heart of a nation, beating strong, ready to share its beauty with those willing to look, those willing to listen, those willing to learn. Forget your safaris with the Land Rovers full of retirees snapping pictures. This is not your typical touristy adventure where you stay in the comfort of your vehicle, clicking away at the wildlife from a safe distance. No, this is something far more raw, far more real. Boma National Park, this is the real deal. A place where nature reigns supreme and humans are mere spectators in the grand theater of life. We're talking about a swathe of land the size of some countries, untouched, untamed. Imagine a vast expanse where the hand of man has barely left a mark, where the landscape stretches out in an endless tapestry of wild beauty. Out here, the animals are king, they roam freely, unencumbered by fences or boundaries, living as they have for millennia. This is their domain and we are privileged to witness it. We're talking white-eared cob, tiang, gazelles, thousands upon thousands of them migrating across the savannah. It's a sight that stirs the soul, a reminder of the incredible journeys these creatures undertake in their quest for survival. You can practically feel the ground shake beneath their hooves. The sheer power and grace of these animals as they move in unison is a testament to the wonders of the natural world. And then there's the Nile, snaking its way through the park, a lifeline for all creatures, big and small. This mighty river, with its ancient currents, sustains an ecosystem teeming with life. Crocodiles lurking beneath the surface, hippos snorting in the shallows, elephants coming down to drink, their shadows stretching long in the setting sun. Each moment here is a snapshot of nature's grandeur, a scene that could be from a time long before humans walked the earth. This is a place where you can lose yourself, where the only sounds are the whispers of the wind and the calls of the wild. It's a sanctuary for the soul, a place to reconnect with the primal rhythms of life. Here, you can truly understand what it means to be part of the natural world, to feel the pulse of the earth beneath your feet and the breath of the wild on your skin. As the sun sets over the savannah, painting the sky in hues of orange and pink, you realize that this is more than just a park. It's a living, breathing testament to the resilience and beauty of nature, a place where every sunset is a reminder of the day's adventures and the promise of more to come. And when night falls, the sky comes alive with a blanket of stars, each one a beacon of the infinite possibilities that lie within this wild, untamed land. The sounds of the night creatures fill the air, a symphony of life that lulls you into a state of awe and wonder. Sitting by a campfire, under the vast African sky, you feel a connection to something greater, something timeless. The stories of the land, the whispers of the wind, and the calls of the wild all come together to create an experience that is both humbling and exhilarating. In the eyes of a lion, you see the spirit of the wild, fierce and unyielding. It's a reminder that in this place, we are merely visitors, and the true inhabitants are the creatures that call it home. Watching a herd of elephants move across the landscape, you can't help but be struck by their majesty and grace. These gentle giants, with their deep familial bonds, embody the essence of the wild. As dawn breaks and the first light of day touches the savannah, you feel a sense of renewal, a promise of new beginnings. Boma National Park is not just a destination, it's a journey into the heart of the wild, a place where you can truly feel alive. The White Nile, it cuts through here like a vein, a lifeblood for this land. Nimule National Park, it's a different kind of beauty than Boma. Here it's all about the contrast, the river calm and serene reflecting the sky, and then the jungle, thick and green, teeming with life. Monkeys swinging through the trees, their calls echoing through the air. Birds of paradise, their plumage a riot of color against the emerald foliage. And if you're lucky, you might even catch a glimpse of a leopard slinking through the undergrowth, its eyes like golden coins in the dappled light. This is a place where you can feel the pulse of the earth, the raw power of nature. Every country has its heroes, its legends. John Garang, he was more than that to the people of South Sudan. He was a symbol of hope, of freedom, 
of a future they dared to dream of. The mausoleum, it's a place of pilgrimage, a place where people come to pay their respects, to remember the sacrifices that were made. The air here is thick with incense, with the murmur of prayers, with the weight of history. You don't have to understand the words to feel the emotion, the reverence, the love. It's a reminder that even in death, some voices continue to inspire, to guide, to unite. Juba, this is a city on the rise, a city finding its feet. The streets are alive with energy, with the hustle and bustle of daily life. Market stalls overflowing with colorful fabrics, the air thick with the scent of spices. Music spills out from doorways, a vibrant soundtrack to the city's rhythm. You can feel the optimism here, the hope for a brighter future. This is a city rebuilding, redefining itself, and it's a privilege to witness. But it's not all about concrete and commerce. Take a walk along the banks of the Nile at sunset. Watch the fishermen cast their nets, the sky ablaze with color. That's the real beauty of Juba, the resilience of its people, their ability to find joy even in the face of adversity. Step outside the city, leave the modern world behind, and you'll find yourself in a different South Sudan. This is the land of the Latuko people, a place where time seems to move a little slower. The village of Suk Latuko, it's like stepping back centuries. Mud huts with thatched roofs, children playing in the dust, the air filled with the sound of laughter and the rhythmic pounding of grain. The Lotuko, they're a proud people, fiercely independent, their traditions passed down through generations. Witness their dances, their rituals, their way of life, and you'll understand the true meaning of community, of connection to the land, to their ancestors. This is a place where the past and present coexist, where ancient wisdom meets modern challenges. They say the best views come after the hardest climb. The Imatong Mountains, they're a test, no doubt. But trust me, the reward is worth every bead of sweat. As you ascend, the air gets cooler, thinner. The vegetation changes, from lush forests to alpine meadows carpeted in wildflowers. And then, you reach the summit. The world stretches out before you, a panorama of jagged peaks and verdant valleys, the clouds swirling below like cotton candy. You can almost taste the freedom up here the sense of accomplishment. This is where you come to breathe, to feel small in the face of nature's grandeur, to find your own personal summit. Deep in the sud, this vast inland sea lies Zeref Island. Now, this ain't your typical tropical paradise. It's wild, it's untamed, it's a haven for creatures most folks have only seen in books. We're talking about the Nile Lechway, these graceful antelope, their hooves adapted to the swampy terrain. We're talking about crocodiles basking in the sun, their eyes like black marbles. But the real star of the show, the shoebill stalk. This prehistoric looking bird with its massive beak and piercing gaze, it's like something out of a dinosaur movie. Seeing one in the wild, it's a privilege, a reminder of the incredible biodiversity this planet holds. Where you, it's a city caught between worlds. The colonial past, it's still visible in the architecture, the faded grandeur of buildings that have seen better days. But there's a new energy here too, a sense of hope rising from the ashes. The market, it's a riot of color and sound, a testament to the resilience of the human spirit. And then there's the river, the Jura River, its waters flowing past, a constant reminder of the lifeblood that sustains this land. Take a boat trip, watch the sun set over the water, and you'll understand the allure of WAU, the way it gets under your skin, the way it whispers stories of the past and dreams of the future. This ain't your Disneyland safari. Kadepo Game Reserve, it's for the true adventurers, the ones who like their nature raw and untamed. We're talking about a landscape that will take your breath away. Rolling savannas, acacia trees silhouetted against the setting sun, the Kadepo River snaking its way through it all and the animals, they rule this land. Lions, their manes like golden crowns, elephants, their footsteps shaking the ground, cheetahs, lightning fast, a blur of spotted fur. This is a place where you can feel the pulse of Africa, the raw power of nature, the delicate balance of life and death. The Sud, it's a place of mystery, of legend, a vast inland sea that has captivated explorers for centuries, Imagine a labyrinth of waterways, papyrus reeds towering overhead, the air thick with the hum of insects, 
This is the domain of the newer people, their lives intertwined with the rhythms of the flood and drought. Watch them navigate the channels in their Mokoro canoes, fishing nets cast wide, their knowledge of this watery world passed down through generations. The Sud. It's a reminder that there are still places on this planet untouched by human hands, places where nature reigns supreme. So, you've seen the headlines, you've heard the stories. But I'm telling you, South Sudan, it's different.